and it was Gwen Jorgensen's race to lose. The defending world champion had won all six previous WTS races this season. How can I become the best in the world? And spent four years going after that goal. And, and for me, I'm somebody who's just very dedicated, very determined, very disciplined. Nothing though was bothering Jorgensen who came out of the water just seven seconds adrift. Laura Duffy in particular tried to break a couple of times, but Jorgensen was covering everything. So for me, it was just like, get up, do the work, even when you don't feel good, even when it's crappy outside and you're tired, when you're down, when races go bad, when you want to quit. There were plenty of times in that, um, my early days where I wanted to quit as well, where I had bad races. Magnificent from the American, and she wins the world title undefeated. When that happened, I would um, sometimes take a three-day break, um, and I'd always come back to it and know, like, you know what? I'm have the right intent, have the right process, and I'm gonna keep fighting because this is what I wanna do. To be able to perform on so many different days when I'm you know, not feeling well or feeling well or hilly courses, it's just, it doesn't seem real. I'm Gwen Jorgensen, 2016 Rio Olympic champion. I'm also a mother to two boys. There's some pretty fun toys upstairs, maybe that George would like. Oh yeah. Like, should I go sit him in one of those things upstairs? Oh, you. Do you want? Do you, you want to hold them? Okay, here we go. Ready? I've always been someone who's been a proponent of, like, don't let sport consume your life. I was like that in high school, and it's not enjoyable. And when you have kids, it just forces you to. You come home and you just you have so much to do, and they don't care what you've done. How are you? Rock music. Rock music. Something to eat. I remember going from high school to college sport and there's this huge jump in performance, in competitors, in lifestyle and that same thing occurred again when I went from college to being a professional triathlete. It's um, way harder competition, the athletes are much more focused on recovery and have a greater sense of what their body is doing and a lot of that jump from amateur or collegiate life to um, professional sports was me having to learn about my body and listening to my body um, and I've really especially with age learned to train smarter um, in the sense that I'm making sure that I'm fueling during workouts and the fueling during workouts I think a lot of people think it's like get through the workout but it's more about recovering for the next day's workout as a mom, I'm constantly depleting my body. Um, I grew two humans inside of it, and I'm currently breastfeeding, which takes a lot of calories, a lot of time, and a lot of me paying attention to staying hydrated, really making sure I'm eating and drinking often. And it's really allowed me, I think, to come back to sport. You know, a lot of it is making sure I'm not overextending because I have so many other demands on me and you don't want to get injured, so it's really being in tune with my body and making sure like if I feel something or something doesn't feel right or I think it's a little too much, then I make sure to cut it back to make sure that I can stay healthy in this journey. We just don't have right now is we don't have a lot of clarity around her schedule, right? And, and what races she's allowed to do and permitted to do given the, the point structure that, that's laid out. So I think that's probably the greatest unknown right now and, and what we're able to actually do uh, here at home with training is becoming more and more known as time goes on. Patrick's been vital to my success. In um, you know the lead up to, to Rio, he did everything. He did training with me. He made sure all the meals were prepped, did, you know, took care of the house, like made sure that I could just basically train, recover, do all that. The garage is a disaster. I'm not happy about it. Yeah, this is yeah, pretty self-explanatory. You want, might want to make sure that the battery's charged, but all of that stuff is because I know she just did a race. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and then when we had Stanley, he was a stay-at-home dad and, and made sure that I could could train to, to my best ability. And he also has a job. He's an agent, and he, he's still there um, helping me in the, in the areas where I actually need him to be successful. So, you know, we I think we have a, a really great partnership, and it's constantly changing and, and something that um, I'm great, very grateful for. I won the Olympics once. Do you know that? You did? Yeah. I should show you my medal. Remind me. Are you like, oh my god, that's probable? Oh my god. Motivation comes and goes for sure. I have a lot of discipline and I have goals that I want to reach and that's what keeps me going every day. It was a a huge decision to, one, do sport after my first child, Stanley. I switched to running uh, and it was a big discussion with Patrick of what do you think? Um, How does this fit into our family? What does it look like? And again, it was another huge family discussion when I decided to come back to triathlon after having my second son, George. I've been to the point, like I had a bad race and a lot of it was from mom guilt and I realized like I just wasn't taking care of myself. Like I refused to get my hair cut. I refused to do anything for me because I felt like if I'm not, like I love training, that's my hobby, my social hour, my job, everything in one. And it was, and so I felt like I shouldn't deserve to be able to do anything else. Like, but it's also good to realize, I think for them even, it's good when we're not there every second. It's good for them to learn to interact with other people and it's good to, to let them kind of figure out what they, they like to do as well, so. Yeah, when races don't go well, it's like, oh man, you know, what, is this okay for my children? Like, that's always my first thought. And, you know, as well, I think it's good for my children to see me fail at something and, and not just give up immediately. I want them to have fight in them too. Things don't come easy. Um, you know, I'm coming back from pregnancy. I know that this journey is going to be really hard and I want them to see me working hard and, and continuing to just pound the rock.